Hi, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the tutorial for Kotlin Pet Store based on OpenAPI's uh, 3.0 specification. Kotlin language is very popular these days, especially on the mobile development on Android uh, platform. But a lot of people these days using Kotlin to build uh, server-side applications as well. Especially with uh, the 1.3 release, the code routine is very easy to build server-side applications with uh, a lot of interactions, especially microservices. Last year, like I learned the Kotlin from uh, one of my friend who is using the Live4j framework to build their application in Kotlin, pure Kotlin, based on Live4j. And he sent some information to me, like uh, I feel the language is so concise and uh, it especially it can be easily mixed with Java program language in the same project. So I start learning Kotlin. The more I learn it, the more I love it. So I start creating a, a demo application as well as build a generator to generate the Kotlin project. So this walkthrough is based on the tutorial, the Kotlin Pastor tutorial. You can find the tutorial on the document site with this URL, tutorial Kotlin open API uh, pastor uh, dash Kotlin. So before we start this uh, walkthrough, let's first take a look at uh, the workspace we are working with. So all the source code is available on the GitHub. So first we need to check in a couple of directories so that we can uh, get the tutorial going. For me, I have a workspace called uh, Network NT. So within the Network NT workspace, I have uh, several repositories checked out. So the first one is uh, Light Code Gen. So this is a like uh, this is a repository contains the generator to scaffold new applications based on the specification as well as the configuration for the project. Within this uh, uh, light code gen, we have a Kotlin generator so that you can scaffold the Kotlin application. This, uh, if you are following the tutorial, you should get this uh, repository checked out, and then you should. Uh, build the light code gen using Maven. Yeah, Maven clean install to build this. I've already built this, so I will just use uh, the existing uh, build jar. The other repository you need to check out is the light example for Jin. This repository contains all the examples uh, in Java, and the pastor example is in the rest. And you can see here the pastor folder. This is the Java implementation for the pastor specification. And uh, we are gonna implement the Kotlin version in this tutorial. The reason I ask you to check out this uh, light example for JS so that you can compare the Kotlin implementation with Java implementation for the same functionality. Also, there's a Kotlin example folder. For the, for the project, you can find the pastor uh, generate the pest store in the pest store folder. There's another folder called pest store unit test, which contains the exactly same project with uh, the unit test implemented so that you can see how we can do the unit testing. 
at any stage, if you are unsure like what's the source code uh, you should follow, you can always go to the pet store folder to check out the latest source code with for the this tutorial. Another folder you need to check out is the model config. This folder contains all the specifications as well as configuration for the code generation. So if you go to the rest folder, go to the open API folder, you can find the path store specification. Within this folder, you can see we have a config.json, which contains the configuration for the code generation to define the package, all, all kind of stuff. This folder also contains OpenAPI YAML, which is uh, the specification file for the path store. If you look at the, the readme, there is a command line in the readme to show you how to use uh, the code, gen, code generation uh, command line. This section contains the Java code generation. You can see is is the word frameworks called OpenAPI. And this section contains the Kotlin generation. So you run this command line, you can generate Kotlin project based on the same specification, same configuration. So this is the workspace like we walked walked through. So the next we're uh, we're gonna just walk through the specification a little bit. Let's open the specification in the editor. Like code gen, comma. We're gonna check out. The, the YAML file. So you can see within the YAML file, you have several uh, endpoint. Pa uh, the URL is a slash v1, an endpoint slash pass, get uh, post, as well as we have slash pass and the pad ID as a uh, pass parameter. You have get and the delete uh, methods defined here. So it's very simple uh, spike. Now let's uh, let's run the generator to generate the project. First, we need to we can run the generator from a network folder. Before we uh, we generate the project, we want to remove the existing project folder. So that let's uh, remove. We want to generate the project into the uh, light example Kotlin folder. So let's remove the existing uh, path store project in that folder. Now let's run the generator command line. Yeah, if you look at the command line, it's basically run a jar file from a, a light code gen. And we specify the framework is uh, open API Kotlin. The output goes to light example Kotlin slash open API slash path store. The model is coming from model config slash rest slash open API slash path store slash 1.0.0 open API YAML. That's the specification we just uh, uh, walked through. The config, config is dash C model config rest open API path store 100 config.json. 
let's run this command line. Now we have a new project generated in the let example copy open API pass star. So this is a newly generated project. And let's build this project and start the server to uh, see if, if, if it's working. The generated project contains the Gradle and uh, uh, the Gradle uh, wrapper. So we can just use Gradle to build. And start the server with the run command. Now the server is up running, uh, listening to port 8443. Let's send a uh, curl request to the server. You can see we got the result back. ID one, name, uh, Jessica write, tag is pad. So that means the server is working. Let's shut down the server. And move away those terminals. Now let's open the IDE for the PyStore application. So that we can take a look at the source code. So this is a generated project. It's very uh, simple uh, Gradle project. You can see we have a build uh, Gradle properties generated with all the dependencies uh, ver version uh, here. And uh, we have uh, a settings, Gradle, uh, we're using Gradle uh, Kotlin. Uh, DSL and the build Gradle uh, KTS. This defines all the dependencies. Uh, if you look, in, look into the source code folder, within the main copying, we have those handlers. Let's take a look at the handler, generate the handler. It's very easy uh, to compare this handler with uh, Java because it's very similar. You basically uh, create a class uh, extend from a uh, light HP handler and you implement this handle request uh, with the exchanges a parameter. This is the override function and within this function you basically uh, get the request parameters and then create a, a response sender to send the response back. Everything else is very similar than uh, similar to Java. You can have you have all the configuration file in this uh, resource config folder. Also, you have a test test case in this folder. This is the the live test server. It's very similar with the the Java ser uh, test server implementation, but this one got a lot more functionalities so that we can make sure when you write test cases, it's much easier to write. You'll see how the test case is written. So here is the test case, generating the test case. You can see this uh, certain piece is, uh, is, is commented out because we don't know what the real assertion is, but I, I'll show you later like what's the real uh, test case uh, lo look like. In order to see the real implementation for the test, we are going to open another editor so that I can uh, show you the test.
Okay, we're gonna use the uh, uh, sublime text. As I showed you in the walkthrough, we have uh, in this uh, exa light example Kotlin, we have open API folder. Under this, we have PyStore, which is generated project. We do have another another folder called PyStore unit test, which is a copy from PyStore, but it got all the t unit tests implemented. So let's take a look at this uh, test implementation. Well, if we open uh, one of the test case, you can see Within the test, we basically like every test like uh, you you run with the uh, the light test server class, and you have a companion uh, object uh, which is a log. So you can log the information within your test, and this is one of the test case. You can see the test case is a function, and the function name can be something uh, just like plain text. Within this, you get the response from test server, make a get, uh, get request. So you can see it's very easy. You can, you, use, you can use Kotlin to send a request to the server. Once you got the response, you can assert the response with uh, a multiple assertions. This is a Kotlin DSL. Uh, first, you can, you can assert uh, the uh, response status equal to uh, 200. Then you can check, okay, the body contains ID, the data element. So you can see the test case is very simple compared with Java implementation. This is the get. If, it, if you want to take a look at the uh, post, you can see how we uh, send the post request to the server. The post request contains the body. So you can see we make post request with uh, this pass as well as this is the body. If you send get, get request, you only need a pass. Then you can assert the response equal uh, status equal to 200. So with this walkthrough, you can see the Kotlin implementation is much, much more concise than Java, especially when you are writing test cases. Not just writing, writing test cases, if in your uh, handler, you are calling other services, the request sent to other service just like this. And it will be very, very uh, concise and simple than the Java implementation, which you might have multi lines to send one request. Yeah, for more information, like how the how we uh, construct the request for Kotlin, you can take a look at this uh, uh, light test server. And you can see how this uh, uh, this server created the request. Okay, so this concludes this tutorial. Thank you. Bye bye.